Hey everybody, call me Felix, and last time on our Barakai food trip, we had some tasty heartwarming western style gastropub food and local Filipino craft beer at one of the most popular spots on the island for such fare, Los Indios Bravos. If you want to check out our Barakai food trip thus far, go ahead and click on the Barakai food trip playlist on the far right hand corner. After our satisfying late lunch at Los Indios Bravos, we took an e-trike southward to right about where Station 3 is in search for lost wet markets. Not a 4,000 plus page novel about navel gazing, but a palenque or wet market to gaze upon and bargain for the freshest seafood in Boracay, known locally as Di Talipapa. A few years ago on my first visit to Boracay, I was looking forward to visiting the Di Talipapa and hope in on my haggling skills to snag some amazing seafood at fantastic prices. I had the strategy down pat of going in the late afternoon to haggle. It was just my luck back then that I heard the Di Talipapa was gutted by fire months before, and only several vendors made makeshift spots to sell their seafood. I'll always remember the thrill of purchasing two live rainbow lobsters and a dozen jumbo tiger prawns at a reasonable price, going down an alley to a local hidden paluto restaurant, and enjoying some of the most sugary sweet seafood I ever tasted. That was what I was looking for on my second visit to Boracay, only to find that this Di Talipapa didn't quite exist anymore, and that it seemed all these spots decentralized, and you can even find some of these stalls the further you walk down south to White Beach. So there we were, in the location that Google Maps had down as Di Talipapa, only to find one permanent establishment trying to sell us live bamboo lobster, as well as prawns and mud crabs. For a package deal, I got all that fresh seafood for 7,500 pesos, or roughly 150 US dollars. After sealing the deal, we walked down the same alleys I meandered around, looking for the Paluto restaurant at the end of it. Was this Phantom Di Talipapa experience as good as the first time around? Did we find some truly sobrang sulit fresh seafood, or did we simply overpay for what we got? Well, keep watching to find out. Okay, everyone. Um, we went to Ditali Papa, and of course, and um, we found that because of New Year's Day, it's closed. And the first time I came here was about over four years ago, like I said, to Barakai. And the Ditali Papa wet market had just burned down. And at that time, they had all the vendors kind of out there on that alley where it once stood, and now it's kind of closed off. And so. Where we went was one small place that had lobster, had shrimp, and had crab. So I got this big monster for about 5,000 pesos. And the, this, I kind of bargained everything in a package deal so that everything costs about 7,500 uh, 7, pesos. 7,500 pesos is about $150, I think? There you go, $150. And part of it is this big lobster, big, I think this is a big uh, bamboo lobster, if I'm not mistaken. You can see how massive that tail is. There's no other way to do this, but just to grab into that carcass. Oh my gosh, it is piping, piping hot. Um, this has just been, I think, steamed in buttered garlic. Ow, it is burning, even through the gloves, it is burning. Finger, here. Orange kind enough to pull out that big, big muscle. Huge tail, neat. And look at all that tomali left intact too. I love it. This looks, gonna, this looks really epic. Huge, huge, huge lobster. Tail, meat. Yes, oh my goodness, okay. Now, the butter and the garlic is in its own pool right there, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna return it back to its own head butter. And you can, I can feel it's really muscular, really firm. And of course, this was live and swimming eh, not too long ago. So, let me get some of this meat here. Look, those ribbons of meat, plump. And I'm going to return it right back to that head butter. I think that's the way to do it. There we go. That was just really fresh. Plump. 
Well, really plump lobster. Mm. That tail is really dense, yet plump. It's not dry. Um, I feel it's a little over though. Slightly over. But, wow, it's really good. Really fresh. Um, now, this lobster is not necessarily sourced from um, Boracay or the water's off. It's actually from Zamboanga, so southwestern Mindanao. Or it's real southwest Philippines. So there's a reason why they didn't really budge on that price, but you can see how massive that lobster is. 1.35 kilograms or um, about 2.6 pounds, I think. Yeah. Really good. The only thing is, you need to dig for your butter and garlic as well. We're really dipping into that head butter. Like Warren's doing right now. Uh oh. Yep. Warren looks well pleased. I really like the freshness of the lobster. Yeah, it's super fresh. It's really coarse. Mm. That's really pretty good, huh? Huh? That's, That's really pretty good. good. Mm -hmm. Um, only the only thing is, it just got it needs a little more butter garlic flavor for me, but. As far as the meat, I cannot complain. Yeah. It's fresh, it's plump, it's really firm, sweet. And like I said, lobster should be firm and a bit bouncy. That's a sign of a really fresh lobster. One that had been previously live before. Um, one that had been previously live only minutes ago. Okay, there's a pool of butter under here, so I think it needs a generous swim back into some butter and some garlic. There's not really a ton of garlic here, not a lot of specks of garlic from what I can see. I'm going to return some of that on my meat. Oh yeah. That butter adds that extra something to that lobster. Looks fantastic. So I think the cooking's on point. Ingredients wise, hmm. We really need to return it into that butter. It's not as garlicky as I would have liked it, but everything else about it. Awesome. Awesome stuff. I think we need to go for our crab and then some more of our chili prawns. Ooh, la, la. And by the way, that's all that's salted egg crab over there, mind you. Okay, I think most of that salted egg crab, I think most of it is gone. Ooh. Warren and Ben are eating it like ravenous. But I gotta have a claw! Which is usually the only thing I care about about crabs. I'm not a crab person. No, I am crabby. But here I am. I mean, the best part. Salted egg crab claw. Mmm. Look at that ginormous claw. Oh. <laughs> ginormous claw. Fuck. Fought Ben back. Mm. Um, that crab meat is not as firm and sweet as I'd like it though. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that eh, it's not that great, but it's good. You have to dig deep to get the, that tender crab meat. And yeah, the claw is tender, but uh, I've had a little bit better, but it's still really good, really fresh. And they tell me that the shrimp and I think the crab come from Roja City. That's the seafood capital of the Philippines, apparently, on Panay Island. So, eh, not too far from here. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to have some chili prawns. So now, we wouldn't make these too spicy because Ben's going to tolerate spicy. Pretty good sized shrimp. Um, these were not previously live. They were fresh, but they were nice. 
And there we go. They're firm, but not sugary sweet like I remember it the first time I was in Barapai. Ah. Actually, a little disappointing. I'm gonna have some of that head then. Hopefully, that doesn't disappoint. Big old head butter. Not quite the same as like the first time I had prawns here in Barakai. Like real big sized tiger prawns. That were previously live. So, really good seafood. Prawns a little disappointing. Crab. And not, I mean, good, no, not great, but that lobster. Really awesome. Really, really awesome. Next time on our Barakai food trip, we're heading to one of the main hubs for shopping and restaurants, the D Mall on Station 2. And we're hitting up a restaurant that serves up some flavorful Portuguese or African piri piri chicken and pork. But they also have quite a wide ranging menu from locally sourced aquan oysters, prepared two ways, to even a bold, humongous fried chicken sandwich that will attract many an American to want to order one. But there's one dish in particular that wasn't any of the things I mentioned that I lauded as the best kind of dish I have ever tried it thus far. You won't want to miss the next tasty installment of our Barakai food trip. And so if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and better yet, please subscribe for more of our food and travel adventures to come. Until the next time, keep cool but care and remember, the empire never ended.